Lord, we hear your words. Continue to speak to our hearts, Father. Lord, in the areas of our life where we are struggling, in the areas of our life where we feel it is difficult, Lord, we respond to your call. And that is surrender it to you. Lord, your design for us is to have a life that is not difficult. Your design for us is to have a life that is in line with you. Lord, help us find that path to walk with you, to be one with you. As we continue to develop this relationship with you, give us more trust. Lord, help us not to listen much on ourselves, but to listen to what you are saying in your words. That we will be able to follow you. That we will be able to live a satisfying and fulfilling life. Thank you for your words. Thank you for your instructions. Thank you that this, this is going to serve as our life and as our guide. Lord, as we continue to obey you, give us that fulfillment. Lord, Lord, let there be less of ourselves and more of you in us. Make it our aim to please you, to honor you, and to obey you. Help us, Holy Spirit. Once again, we confess that we cannot do it on our own. Our strength is not enough. But we allow you, Holy Spirit, to work in us. We allow you, Holy Spirit, to mold us. And we allow you, Holy Spirit, to lead us, to guide us, and to direct us. Lord, as we go home, give us that peace. Give us that full understanding of what you are calling us to do. Is that calling to live a godly life? And help us to make that conscious decision of God to just submit to your authority. We declare that you are the God of our life. We declare that you is what we all need. For satisfaction, fulfillment is in you. It's not in ourselves. It's not in our efforts. So we give everything to you. We surrender everything to you. Yeah. And let your will be done in each one of us. Thank you for those who are here today. Lord, let these words come to nothing. But let these words be planted firmly in our hearts. That we will be able to reflect on it. That we will be able Lord, to just live our lives pleasing you and obeying you. Salamat Panginoon. Lord, as we go out, we just we desire that the light that you have placed in us would shine through. That because of how we live our lives, other people will know that there is a loving and a great God who is in control of everything. Bless each one and Lord, I pray for salvation of each one's family that are here. I pray that all of the people that are surrounding us in our family, Lord, they will be able to come to know you. And they will be able to experience your great love. Lord, you have, you have spoken to us. You have shown to us how, how you love us. Lord, let this love flow out. And let this love be even in our hearts. 
even in our lives, that other people would come to know you. And other people would come to surrender their lives to you. Lord, enough of this meaningless and fruitless search of our own. You already have shown us how to live our lives to the people. Father God, once again, we surrender everything to you. Take control and have your way in us. In Jesus' name I pray. It's time to those who want to be. That's your nature, that's who you are. You are always good and will always be. And Lord, thank you for blessing us, not, not just with the words that we learn on a Sunday, but through the financial aspects of our lives as well. Thank you that you've given us blessings for um, financially as well. Thank you that even though we face challenges every single day of our lives, your goodness will always uh, overflow for and Everything that we do here, Lord, this is not us. This is all. We don't deserve all this, but you alone deserve it. And we are just returning this to you, Lord. And Lord, the offerings and the tithes that we're giving to you now is just a symbol of our adoration, Lord. Not because we're told to do so or instructed to do it, but because our priority, like what the message says, is to please you. And it's because we love you, Lord. Our priority will always be with you and our eyes will be focused on you. And Lord, May you accept um, the offering that we're giving to you as a sign of our surrender. Um, not just by claiming that you are we're surrendering to you, but we're surrendering mo our monies because it's not ours, it's yours. Um, we just want to give you back the praises for it. Let your will be done in everything that we do in every day. And be the strength of our lives, in Jesus' name pray.